Hi, my name is Ivan Van Norman, and I'm auditioning today for King of the Nerds, because I am a king of nerds. I like to describe myself as a dragon-hearted fire dancer with a flair for the dramatic. And as you can see, I have a lot of dragons. I also have a lot of games. Um, I do role-playing games like Pathfinder, World of Darkness, Dungeons & Dragons. We have four different campaigns going on right now with me and my friends. Uh, different sets of friends as well, too. I don't just have one group of friends that I do it with. Uh, I have a huge collection of comic books as well as movies and music. I actually prefer games, though, over music, like video games. I do uh, wargaming as well, too. Miniatures. Miniatures! Uh, things like War Machine, Warhammer, um, a lot of war, <laughs> uh, and a new one, Malifaux, that I'm getting into. There's also um, a lot of the social stuff that I enjoy as well, too. I'm a professional fire dancer. You'll be seeing a lot of what I have to offer today. It is a lot, and it is all very, very, very nerdy. So I hope you enjoy it. Hi. Okay, so first, the games. But I want to introduce you first to Katara here, who is being a little squirmy. But hey, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Katara, as in from Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show, not the ShamWow movie, but okay, okay. <laughs> She's like gonna kill me. Go. Alright, but let's, uh, uh, let's talk about games a little bit first. I'm a huge pen and paper gamer. So I, um, I collect rule books. That's something I really enjoy. Um, you know, we have Pathfinder, the different, uh, War Machine and Hordes rule books, um, Outbreak Undead, which I'll get to in a second, Eclipse Phase, Elf Quest. Uh, all the different World of Darkness titles, a game called Battle Dragons, which, you know, dragons will be a common theme for this whole thing, as well as Palladium and most of the strategy guides for different video games that I've loved. But Outbreak Undead is actually a role-playing game that I developed with a couple of good friends of mine. So uh, this is out in, in publication. You can actually get it at a comic book store. And we've been working on it for about four years. It's a zombie survival role-playing game. It allows you to accurately simulate any type of zombie apocalypse scenario you want under any circumstances you want, with any type of zombies that you want. It stems from a simulation so much that we like to say your zombie survival plan will fail because nobody's tested it yet. And that's actually the best part because you can create yourself as a character in our game and run your zombie survival plan with all of your friends. Again, one of the best things that I love about role-playing gaming is just being able to immerse yourself in a completely fictional environment and create your own reality for yourself. I've never gotten over it. It's still fun to this day. So, All right, so this is my modeling table. This is where I do all of my miniature assembly, painting, and sculpting. So it's actually a lot of fun because I miniature warscapes are something that's really fascinating to me because you can essentially take an entire pitched battle and put it into a small kind of like tangible omnipresent um, experience for you and it's very cinematic if you think about the different armies going against each other and what they're doing um, and when they are literally battling each other so uh, also did you know that acrylic floor polish is excellent Acrylic floor polish is excellent for getting a shine and also preserving your models so that they don't chip and scratch. Let me show you an example. This is one that I did. Uh, basically, this is, for lack of all definition, uh, an undead elf that was pulled out from the ether world in order to do battle for necromancers. And real quick tirade, real quick, now that I just thought of this, did you know that Vulcans are basically elves? Just for the record. Uh, I know it seems odd, but think about it. They're really high and mighty on themselves. They're practically immortal. And just recently in the last movie, their entire planet was wiped out, so now they're like a dying race. Like every other elf story in every other fantasy fiction, period. Elves. Moving on. All right. Uh, here's some more. I actually have a whole kind of like my favorite models. Here's a little little buggy. He's actually, oh, that's actually fun. I should show that to you, too. They're all magnetized. So I actually drilled out all the arms so that I can switch out all the limbs at will in order to, like, custom build their, uh, their armaments, so to speak. So I wanted to talk about my fire dancing a little bit. It's something that I've been doing for about four or five years. Um, I literally take tools wrapped in Kevlar and light them on fire and spin them around my body. It's a, it's a pretty big community in L.A., actually, that does it, but um, I kind of took it and went really, really crazy with it, with the concept and the idea. I have poi, which are the ball and chain that you spin. Um, I have staff, 
I have a bull whip, and I also have a sword, um, which actually that's most of what these pictures are, is mostly me using the sword. Um, but I do fire breathing, um, I do fire, uh, fire eating and fleshing, which is uh, a good time, always fun. Uh, and I used to do it uh, professionally with um, a performance troupe. We used to do choreography with fire all the time, and I did you know groups with like a performer Focus Fish at Burning Man. Um, I might even be going um, to do fire at a thing called Wasteland Weekend, which is a post-apocalyptic weekend, you know, uh, party essentially. And they might even bring me on as a comp so that I can go and perform fire on their stage. So I actually get into a lot of really cool stuff because of my whole fire performance art. Uh, um, I hope you've had a good time, and I appreciate you taking a look at my video. And I hope that you consider me to be the king of all nerds because in my world, I am 100% a king of nerds.